Yeah. Yeah, Sanwei, yeah. Uh, yeah, Sanwei, Sanwei. Uh, yes, it, it is also in south of China, Guangdong, Guangdong province. So how, how far is it from you? It's about 300 kilometers. Oh, so like a three hour drive. Yeah, yes, it's not far from my house. Ah, okay, so have you always lived there? Yes, um, this is my work city, and, and I, I bought a house here. Okay, so yeah, me and, me and Angela, were, we were talking about house prices and stuff like this. How much is it in, in your city, a uh, uh, house? Okay, uh, it's about, it's about $3,000 per square. $3,000 a square? Uh, yes, uh, so it's about uh, 20,000 yuan. For how, how big is that? So how many yeah, how many fine. how many square feet is that? How many square feet? Yeah, do you know? Feet. Um, 平方英尺. Well, uh, we don't use the square feet in in China. We we use the the system, the metric system. Okay, so how much is that, Angelo? It's, it's, if you translate it from square meters to square feet. I don't know. I type it, uh, one hundred meter meter square, like square meters. Square meters. Square meters. Oh, square meters. Yes. Oh, okay. Square meters. Thank you. So, Angel, you have a computer there. Angel. Excuse me. Do you have a computer handy? No way. Because I want to know how much is a hundred square meters in in feet. How many meters are in a feet? How many feet are in a meter? Uh, one, th one thousand, I think. In a meter? One meter. Maybe, maybe one, I can one, show you. I can show you. Uh, oh, that's the, big. Yeah, that's nice. That's big. The, the oh. living room is about uh, ten meters square. That that right there. That square square meter. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty big. Yeah, it's really nice. So, how much is that? Uh, how much is that uh, a month? How much? That? A month. Oh, how do I know? I take a look at it. it oh, the loan from the bank. No, to pay. How much does it cost? A month, like you pay a month, no? Uh, all of all of the. The price of my house, you you asking? Yeah, is it uh, you pay by month or you bought it? You pay by month, no? Mm. Pay by month to the bank? Uh, by month to the bank. No, no, your, your, your house, right? Your house. Do you pay uh, an amount every month I or you... All, I pay all of the, the money. Okay, so how much was the, how much does the house cost, in other words? Uh, let me let me search it. I don't know how to say this. No, you can number say it in is, one. It doesn't matter. Number is difficult for me. Wait. Uh, one million, one million one six hundred thousand. So divide that by five. That's oh, three hundred thousand. Around, around. Canadian, there. Canadian. So you see, Angel, it's the same as Montreal, basically. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. You guys, you have to pay uh, tax there every year on the house. No, no. Every year, I don't need to pay the the tax. Uh, we just pay the. Only one tax when I bought the house. It's about uh, three three percent. The tax is three percent. 
Okay, so someone is telling us no, there's no tax. No, we have no tax. Okay, uh, okay she said because uh, after uh, 70 years, the house doesn't belong to you anymore. That's how it works in China. Yes, we just have the uh, 70 years limit. Yeah, that's what I said. 70 years maximum. That's why we don't have a lot of public taxes. Because it's not yours forever. And what about, uh, okay, apartment? Yeah, the same thing. Apartment, but not the house, okay. Do you need to pay the tax every year for your house? In Canada, yes. Wow. So, uh, how much? Uh, yeah, but don't forget that the difference is the house here, once you buy it, it's yours forever. Right? In China, you could only keep it up to 70 years, right? Yes. So, that's that's the difference as to why we pay tax every year. Some, sometimes, uh, uh, some people don't like the 17 years limit because it is not a lifetime house but well, i think it's enough depends how old you are because if you, yeah, if you get a house say, say you buy a house at 20 years old right so if you buy a house at 20 right 20 years of age and you reach 90 years of age what what happens you lose the house you know, uh, it's because most, mo in most cases, they kind of anticipate people don't live in the house for 70 years. But if you, you would, do, I'm saying, what happens when you reach know. 90? That I don't know. That is not the, not the example case to, to, uh, after 70 years, uh, what should I do for the house? Now, there, there is not, there is not case for, for it. Uh, maybe 20 years later or 30 years later, uh, uh, if the, the, the limit time is over, we need to pay uh, maybe 10 or 5 percent. Oh, okay. So you understood everything, Angela? How it works over there for house owning? I think they consider it more an apartment apartment owner than a house. They consider it a oh, house. I'm about to go back to the office. Okay. By the way, yes. uh, what time is it there again? 12.30. 12.30, okay. All right, so here in Canada, Friday. Is it Friday or is it Saturday? Today is yeah. Tuesday, man. We are bringing the clock one hour ahead. It's going to be daylight saving time in Canada. Very soon, okay? So we're, it's going to be 12 hours different, right? Who, who's listening to like the 1920s radio, man? Sounds like wow. somebody's listening to 1920s radio. Is that you, Doris? With, uh, with the yeah, there's a big time echo. Your melody said it. Doris, try to mute your mic a moment. There's okay. a lot of feedback. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Okay. All right. So yes. So this uh, this week we are going back. Uh, no, forward one hour. Okay. Our clocks are going one hour forward ahead because we will be going into daylight savings time. Okay in Canada or US, okay? And uh, it will be 12 hours difference, right? With, uh, Canada and China, right? Yeah, right now it's 13. It's going to be 12 after Saturday night. So after Saturday night, we're going to be 12 hours difference with uh, Canada and China, okay? All right, so, um, so that's interesting that after 70 years, that you live in the house, it's never, it never, it never is going to be yours. Only up to 70 years in China. Here, when you buy a house, okay, and you pay it off, it is yours, okay? Yeah, but if you think about it, Angela, who's going to live uh, for 70 years in the same house anyway? That's, That's true. But uh, let me tell you something. Okay. Okay. You either move or uh, you sell a house to buy a new one, right? Uh -huh. The Chinese people live very long. 
they live more than 30 years. Yeah, no, no, but what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying is, they don't live very young, very long here in Canada. Oh, Angelo, in China, Angelo, I mean, Angelo. The, the people, I mean, the world knows that in China, people live very, very long. I understand. Angelo, what, I, what I'm saying is, suppose they live to 110, right? Yes. If you buy a house at 20 years old, Yes, and at by 90. the time you're fifth, no. By the time you're fifty or sixty, you'll probably buy another house. You're not going to stay in the same house for seventy yes, that's years, correct. anyways. That's true. Yeah, you're going to sell that one, then you're going to buy another one. Then. So, the seventy years isn't really a big deal. If it was like ten years, then maybe it's a problem. Seventy years. Mm, you, mm, you know, we lived in a uh, apartment, so I don't think it uh, is enough to live for. 30 years. Yeah, I know, 30 years, never mind 70, exactly. Uh, 70 years, because the uh, the apartment will be older and uh, is not comfortable after 70 years. So uh, if there, if there, it's like an apartment house, right? It's, it, it's, it's an apartment, right? Uh, yes, yes. There are 30, uh, 32 floors in, in our apartment. Okay, but say for example, uh, the the window breaks. Who fixes it? You have to fix it, right? You don't have a, like a landlord. Uh, yes, I have to fix it if I want to continue to live in 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 the apartment. So I I must fix it. Like if the wall breaks. If the wall, if there's a crack in the wall, who fix it? You have to fix it. Uh, I, I fix it. Okay. I, I, I spend my money to fix it. <laughs> right. So, so you, you guys call it an apartment, but it's really a house. Uh, yeah, it's not a house. I think. I think. So is it a condom? Is a condo? Yeah. Because again, I told you in China, everybody calls. Apartment slash condo is the same thing, you know. That's how we call it. So it's pretty good to be detailed. Well, uh, Mel it's Melody, it's Melody said it. property management. Property management is like a, a condo. Yeah, but it uh, excuse me. May I ask you? May I ask your name? Ma Mavaka. Oh, mine. Mavaka. Mavaka. It's Italian. Italian. Mavaka. Mavaka. Okay. Have you been to China? Uh, no. Not, not yet. Uh, my wife came to Canada, so I'm in Canada now, and and she's been in Canada for for a while. So we haven't been back to China, no. Canada is a wonderful city. Country, country. Country. Have you ever been outside of China? Um, no, no. Uh, I decide to travel. Uh, to some countries uh, this year. Where where do you plan on going? Mm, New Zealand and France. Oh, France. Oh, France. Okay. Uh, in the summertime? Mm, yes, maybe when I finish all of my work. Yeah, work work first, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's expensive. You yeah. know, New Zealand and France would be expensive trip. Uh, yes, uh, I searched it before. It's so expensive. Where is more expensive? I think for you, it's more expensive France, right? France is farther, isn't it? Mm, yes, but um, it depends on uh, where where uh, we live. We uh, we lived and where uh, what do we going to eat? So. Yeah, that's we true too. Uh, spend. But also in France, you have to worry about the uh, euro dollar, which is a lot more expensive as well. Mm, Angel, yes. he was saying he wants to go to France in the summertime. But again, the, the euro dollar right now is it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, do you pay the welcome uh, tax when you buy a house there in, in Toronto? The welcome tax? What do you mean, welcome tax? What's welcome I tax? I don't think so. Because us, 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 when we buy a house mm -hmm. here, okay, uh, the city, the city uh, tax is, uh, it's called a welcome tax, you know, and welcome to the, uh, 
the city of uh, Riviera de Prairie. So it's a 10% of what of, of, of what your the valuation of, of your house. So if you've never heard of it, your house is 359,000. Okay, w welcome to uh, this, you know, the district, and it's three thousand, three thousand five hundred and ninety ninety dollars of welcome tax. No, that's one percent, dude. One percent, sorry, one percent. Well, there's a big difference between one percent and ten percent. You're no, talking thirty six thousand dollars. So, so you're 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 so 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 not only you bought the house. Okay, welcome, welcome to the district, and then they slap you another three thousand five hundred. That, that's I never heard of that. Okay, so but right here, so, here there's a welcome tax when you buy a, when you buy a house. Okay. So a lot is going to buy a house in Montreal. Yeah, and I'm going to give right? Angela fifty percent of welcome tax. Everybody knows about it. On a, on a, I don't know if it's on a new house or even on, on a used uh, on a used house. You know. Is that uh, everywhere in Quebec or just your town? No, it's everywhere. In Quebec. Well, again, the price of house there is, is half the price of here, so. And property tax is about the same too, no? Property tax is based on like a, like a, I say your house is 300,000, your, your city tax is going to be uh, 3,000 3, a year. And then you got a school tax on top of that too. City tax and school tax. So again, about 1%. One percent. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to tell you something about our. our that's why our Chinese apartment uh, is only seventy years uh, time. Uh, for example, if a government want to reach a high uh, high speed train, uh, the government will will take take back the, the apartment through the uh, for the high high speed train because uh, the the land is not belong to us so the government can buy buy uh, can pay back for the land and and then uh, it's good to build many uh, public translation so so s say the government wants to build a, a, a train right where you where you live right now what happens to your uh, what happens to your apartment uh the government will pay yeah, uh, some money it. for my house and then you can buy another one. oh that's good mm. and then and then the the land will came back to the government uh, so it's it's good to build uh, many public uh, public uh, uh, maybe a train or airport or a CBD. But are you allowed are you allowed to to own more than one house there uh, yes of course my my parents house <laughs> So you're allowed more than one house if you obviously if you have the money, right? Uh, a lot more than. Oh, <laughs> I'm not rich. I'm not rich. No, I know, I, just... I know. But I'm saying if you had the money, you you are allowed to buy more than one house in China. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe last. Uh, the older generation want to buy house, but I don't like to buy more and more house because I want to maybe develop myself. I want to see, I want to travel mm -hmm. in some country. I want to so, the, the new new world by myself. Uh, yes, we can. We can buy, uh, maybe, well, if you have a lot of money, you can buy many house, houses. As much money as you have is as many houses as you can buy. I got it. Mm. Yes. I want 
to say, I want to say something, okay? Uh, they're going to build more metros, more metro stations here in Montreal. And they asked McDonald's, because McDonald's has a place where they're going to place the metro, the metro station. So they asked uh, McDonald's to move. Okay, and McDonald's said, if you give me what I want, I'm going to move. Okay, but the city is the city is doing the metro on that lot. Okay, on that where McDonald's is. Okay, and uh, yet McDonald's got what he got. Oh, got he got what he wanted. Do you, do, you, do you know? Do you know that? Uh, no, that Robert, that's what the city did. But again, that's pretty so much McDonald's, like in here uh, too, yeah, the money more taxes are going to pay. They want to discourage you, right? The metro system, the metro thing on, on, that, on that lot, on where McDonald's has been there for so many years. And it is, and it's moved, it moved already, okay? Because they're doing a metro station there, okay? Uh, another thing I want to add, I want to ask, I say all to the viewers, all the people that are watching, listening, I was just please about to say this. Uh, follow us and we will follow you back. And as soon as we come back on live, we do three times a day, morning, afternoon and late at night. Okay. And we also do voice rooms. Okay. Three times a day morning afternoon and in the knee in the evening okay so don't forget guys follow us we will follow you back and as soon as we come back on we will notify you okay so don't forget guys okay and if you will want to come on stage or also you know vo our voice rooms and you know, we want people to come uh, on, on stage and to talk to us so that you can practice your english okay and pr and prove okay all right, so uh, Doris has been with us for how long is it now, Doris? You've been with us about a year. Is it about a year you're with us, Doris? I guess. Yeah. No, no. Um, I, I'm just here like no uh, less than a year. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, 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 was it, was it hard for you at the beginning learning English? Or how did you how did you learn the the English? Where was it in school or was it, or was it hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I have I have been learning English for many years. Um, since I was uh in ju junior high school. Ah, okay, okay. But yeah, like um, like um, but you know uh Chinese. Chinese school, they, 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 don't, they, they don't pay attention to uh, teaching you uh, oral English, right? Uh, they just pay attention that you, if, if, if you will get a high school. Right. Uh, we have more people uh, that are like, uh, regulars, you know. I mean, uh, tonight we are. We're probably, I'm sure they're in the uh, in the audience there, and the and they're listening and they're watching mm -hmm. and uh, people that come on stage. And at the beginning, they knew they knew very very little English, and today they are like, wow, they have improved, and they're not scared, and they're not uh, they're not shy. And I want everyone to know that you must come on stage and you will for sure improve and learn and practice English. They get easier and easier if you come on and talk to us, okay? What, what right. do you do there, uh, Cedar? What do you do? Are you in construction? Are you a construction worker? What, what do you do, Cedar? What's your what? job? Uh, I am a short video creator. Say that again. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, I am a short video creator. Oh, short video. Yes, in in China, Douyin. The, the purchase restriction is implemented in the household. Oh, Rich. Douyin. So that's like TikTok. Like TikTok. Yes, it's similar to TikTok. Yeah, it's a Chinese version. Yeah, 
Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs>